here in District 2, Coach Rich Company once again with your tournament updates for New Jersey District 2, Section 1, and New Jersey State partials, uh, baseball and softball tournament updates. We uh, all right, Before we get started, uh, I got some house cleaning to do, and uh, number one is I want to congratulate uh, Mike, the District Administrator from District 2, and uh, his staff for, for hosting these great tournaments. Um, they've been going back and forth all over the place, uh, especially with the rainouts, uh, you know, schedule changes, trying to hit as many parks and games as possible, and uh, they've done a pretty good job. Thank you also to the tournament hosts, because with all this rain, I mean, it's phenomenal the way they've gotten these the fields ready and these games in. Um, great job, guys. Snack stands, wonderful. Uh, I mean, and, and just, just the way you've handled yourselves and crowd control has been great. Thank you very much. It's been a terrific tournament season, and we appreciate it. Um, and lastly, uh, I want to say thank you to all the, the fans out there. Uh, it's been great walking around and talking to you all and, and getting to meet some people. And, and, and uh, thanks for letting me play with the dogs, too. Um, but anyway, moving on to the games. We're going to start with softball today. We only had uh, action in, in Wallington last night with the state finals. We had Pequannock versus Robbinsville, and Robbinsville, uh, congratulations. You're the state champs. You're moving on. Good luck in your quest for the world championship. Pequannock ladies, um, double edge here. Uh, sad to see your season over, but on the same hand, number two in the state is nothing to sneeze at. Congratulations. That's, that's a way to go out. Like I said, number two in the state, not a bad thing. Um, on a personal note, thank you for... For the way you played, thank you for the way you acted, thank you for your actions on and off the field, um, your sportswomanship, and and letting me and everybody else come along for the ride, because it's been a great ride, and thank you for all that, um, appreciate it, good luck in your, your summer ball quest, and I'm sure I'll see you soon. Uh, moving to the baseball side, 14 Junior League Baseball, uh, some game. Par Troy East over Tribro 6-4, which means Par Troy East is now moving on to the finals. They will be playing Ridgewood tomorrow night for the championship. Ridgewood needs one. Par Troy East needs two. The if then game would be Thursday. Both those games would be in the Laser Field with a 7 o'clock start. The Laser Field is in Bloomingdale. Okay, the 8-year-olds... Championship. Congratulations, PLR, beating Clifton. They are the District 2 champions. Uh, Ten-year-olds tonight, also in Bloomingdale, this time at Anderson Field, hosted by Triborough Little League. We have Randolph versus Sparta at 6, and Pequannock versus Ridgewood at 8 p.m. All right, now the 12-year-olds, uh, we're going to start off with some great news. Uh, if you followed along, Hunter was the young lad who got took one in the face and created a hush moment in the stadium. It was pleasantly surprised he was in the ballpark yesterday and got a very warm welcome, but was glad to see him up and around and at the park. And Hunter, once again, we wish you a very speedy and fast, healthy recovery. Um, good luck to you, buddy. Uh, last night in the first game, Pequannock 4-3 over Lackawanna. Newton, uh, unfortunately, Lackawanna, you are done for the season. Pequannock, you are yet to stay alive. Uh, in the second game, the first inning for Morristown American, Andrew, the second, uh, sorry, the first inning, the second batter, Andrew, blasted a shot over the wall, 1-0. That lead held up until the Sixth inning when Morristown American tacked on a second run, and that was good enough. They shut Hillsdale out. Final score, Morristown American 2, Hillsdale nothing. Morristown American goes on to the final. Hillsdale will face Pequannock tonight, 7 o'clock in Pequannock, being hosted at Washington Park, hosted by Pequannock Little League, and that game will have a 7 o'clock start. So, you've got a couple final games but tonight, 7 o'clock, Quantic versus Hillsdale, Washington Park. All right, this is Coach Rich is always saying, see you when I see you.